Sidan says, Megan's manifesting a clothing line for kids. We've heard this for ages. Will she use her invisible raw kids to merch? The source wrote on Blind Item, Speaking of projects, Meghan Markle wants to sell a line of children's clothes. She thinks it's a market that she can corner. She's desperate to earn some money of her own. This is the reason why Meghan and Harry changed the surname of their children and launched their new website named Sussex.com. Some like SussexKids.com were created during the first month of Megxit, yet the lies on Oprah that there was no plan. But an insider said that Buckingham Palace is ready to ask royal lawyers to file a lawsuit against Meghan for milking the Sussex title. Sussex Royal was even trademarked in June 2019, six months before Harry and Meghan left the royal family, while she was on maternity leave for a variety of goods and services. That's definitely been Meghan's plan since day one. She just had to spin a whole bullshit narrative to Harry first. She knew more about what was going on than she pretended. All of her cutesy stories about not knowing who Harry was and didn't understand that she'd have to curtsy. Who's corroborated a meeting with the Wales in ripped jeans and barefoot? Anyone? The Prince and Princess of Wales aren't going to issue a statement saying she was wearing a dress first time we met. It could be a lie and one planned to sell. It's been revealed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle bought the Sussex.com website domain name from a British-born businessman who's believed to be very happy with the fee that he received. Mr. Agate, who's from Sussex but lives in the US, created the name in 1995 and had held onto it for almost 30 years. Harry and Meghan are understood to have used a broker who didn't reveal the Sussex's identities when they purchased the domain name without arguing the price. The domain was registered on February the 4th, nine days before Harry and Meghan relaunched on Sussex.com. Mr. Agate, who lives in Maryland, shared a photo of the new website on Wednesday and wrote, Congratulations to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on the purchase of Sussex.com for your new website. The domain served me well for 30 years and especially glad it's still owned by a British polo player. The rebranded Sussexes with their relaunched website are more narcissistic than ever. Harry and Meghan brazenly exploit the ties to the British royal family at every opportunity or ignore whenever it suits them, writes Christopher Smithers. This was a delicious piece and very well reasoned in my opinion. The dynamic duo from Montecito appear to feel that it's somehow their God-given right to live in the lap of luxury, all the while dispensing wise words from their lofty perches, based on their vast experience of what exactly. Many commentators, including this one, sincerely believe Harry to be so enraged to the point of losing his grip on reality much of the time. He seems to be subject to the whims of his wife every time she clicks her fingers too. Without a single meeting with palace staff, British politicians with the royal family with diplomats, Meghan and Harry go off by themselves, trying to represent Britain, monarchy, foreign policy, etc, etc. They sound totally deranged and deluded if they think that they can pull off looking officially royal for the long term, where they've been cut off completely from the royal family.